Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 59 of Let's Play An Empire Divided, where we've been thrust into four different wars. Luckily, we actually did peace out of one, costing all of our influence in the last part. Wouldn't have been my first choice. I think I think we could have fought every single war we were in, but we don't want to uh, tax the limit of our Imperium, because that's where we... Uh, you tax your men too much in terms of, like, you know, not tax taxes, but, like, tax their... Um, you know, or like thin out the line just to try and defend everywhere. It makes it a lot harder to win. Obviously, the biggest thing for us is making sure we take out the uh, these guys. So this is why I was like not bothered. It was it's, as long as we're not piecing out the Western Imperium. Like I personally don't care. Yeah, but so basically we're fighting the western imperium until they peace out through um our, my favorite mechanic which is the uh what's it called uh war exhaustion and once they peace out due to war exhaustion we'll go from there But yeah, so um, we are currently having quite a bit of success against the Western Imperium as well. We've um, we've taken over uh, two cities in this war so far, and two castles, three castles, I think. We've taken over quite a few castles, and we're trying to push. Uh, we're trying to unite, take the castles between the cities we've taken now to try and add um, like a sense of def a sense of like safety to the region around the cities. Because if we if we take the castles, the enemies like enemy lords won't obviously be walking around there as frequently, uh, or like potentially enemy lords. So you know when we do end like if we end up like declaring war on someone, there won't be like a bunch of enemy lords super close to our cities now. You know they'll have to come from like further afield to be annoying, which obviously is a massive improvement and you know something you should definitely be doing in your own games if you are watching this thinking, hmm, how do I stop the AI from being annoying as fuck? I would always say try and pigeonhole the enemies as best you can. You know, put them into places where they're uh, not really, you know, able to come at you from this, like, multiple sides. Like, I, I know I've technically not done that with this one because we have actually split the Western Imperium down the middle. But as they say, you win some, you lose some. You know, you can't win them all. But more specifically, I think the biggest issue we have is the fact that... Uh, it just it make it was because we're trying we tried to take out the southern imperium as well we you know added ourselves a little bit of extra pain but it's okay we'll be at war with the sake soon and they're just gonna, gonna like they're not the best at sieging because they usually use too many archers so typically speaking like they're much easier to beat in a siege but they're still an absolute pain in the ass Yeah, they're going to take out there. There we go. Beautiful victory for us. 55 more prisoners. Let's just add uh, the good ones to our uh, our own prisoner lists. Want anything else? Good. Now, we specifically, after we take out the Western Imperium, I'm probably going to peace out. I'll probably just chill and go get myself some troops. Uh, we have... Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, this was the last of the free castles we needed to take. Yeah, we've taken a lot this war. Um, you'll do. Yeah, like, if we look at, like, what we've got, we are, like, we are the strongest in a lot of ways. So, the, the Western Imperium is still really strong. They have a lot of castles. Um, which we're slowly taking from them, mind you. Now, if we took everything over here, we would be directly in the way of the sake, and that's not really in our best interest. I mean, I mean, realistically, fighting the dickheads over here, fighting them over here is not even in our best interest. Boros, I think, is like the only, I think these two, and maybe, maybe Vostum and this castle are probably the best, and obviously that castle as well. But yeah, it's, yeah, we're a war with a lot of people. Let's kick out anyone who's under 30 troops just so they can go rebuild their armies, you know, ASAP. Obviously not including our own people. 
And let's go look at Poros and see if Poros is a potentially doable siege or if it's going to be one of those places where it's like, like we could siege it, but it's not going to be easy. We're also going to obviously try and grab as many fucking troops as possible. Making peace with the West Imperium. I can't even say no to it. So we're not even going to get to the position I actually want to be, which is where, you know, we force them out and get a bunch of money. Which legitimately would be better for us in every sense. But oh well. Literally nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. A little bit more money to sell stuff. There we go. Uh, not enough prisoners at all. Uh, yeah, my my my. Everyone has just taken their Mer mercenary paratus. Is the mercenary paratus the top tier or? Yes, they are. Well, bollocks. Uh, you. You look like you need some mercenary paratus because uh, I don't. Like, I don't need them specifically in my army. Yeah. You know what? Let's just uh, let's kick these dipshits. Ah, oh, fuck. Reset. You out, you out, you out, you and you. Yeah, fine. I already have, like, no fucking influence anyway, so we may as well piece them out. We've, we did so much casualties to them that, it, you know, that's obviously what matters. Now, these two current wars, I'm actually just going to ignore. And you're probably thinking that's not the smartest move, but one of them, like, Britannia literally has nothing of interest for us to do. They're a single thing, and we have no actual border with the Canetians, so the reason they declared war on us is probably just out of, you know, spite. Now, is it the Peritus that's uh, upgradable into something we actually want, right? Yes, it is. The Peritus are indeed upgradable into something we want. And also double check to make sure. Yep, we are doing just fine on these. Cool. Um, we don't want to ransom our prisoners, obviously. That would be dumb. But uh, let's make sure we pick up all of our, uh, like, all of troops for all of our vassals and whatnot. Got a lot of recruiting to do. The good thing is, uh, you know, we're still going to be, like, looking at probably doubling the amount of troops we'll have because of it. Yeah, just keep making your food more worthwhile. 11 caravan guards? How about no? Actually, you know what? How about yes, but I'll give them to... Uh, I'm going to give them to one of my vassals because, well, as much as I like caravan guards, I don't want them directly in my army. Like, I'm not against having them. I just don't want them, you know, represented in my army specifically, you know? Yeah, my va I feel like my vassals are definitely going to get a full fucking army before I do. Little shit. The thing is, it's there's probably, like... Yeah, if you look at the amount of troops disappearing, it, it is because my men are recruiting... My vassals are recruiting the little knobs. Uh, six more caravan guards and no more troops for Joe. So let's just throw them in here. Uh, and now I know I could just go to one of my cities and pull troops out of the garrison, but it's not the best move in the world, pulling out troops out of garrison if you can help it. If you don't need them, then sure, but even then I'd still say don't pull troops out. Paratus, fuck that. Uh, let's go over this way, because I know that that city over there is pretty good. Anybody uh, trying to be a faction? Yeah, but nowhere near strong enough, so it's not a problem. More Imperium Caravan Guard. Well, we still only need like 170 left, so you know, we've we got loads and loads of room, unfortunately. But like I said, we should it shouldn't prove too hard to fill those the gaps in. At least I'd hope it shouldn't. Yeah. Worst case scenario, we could just go deck Britannia. 
Like if we need to, I will destroy Britannia because just to just so they go away. But I'd I'd prefer not to. Tile's not mine, right? No, it isn't good. Yeah, doing my best to make sure we specifically don't have rebellions. Okay, some more caravan guards. So you. Duras the Smith, congratulations. You now have nearly a full you still have so many fucking troops, god damn it. Wait, I thought someone... Yeah, I'm gonna say someone actually did level up. Tushi the Black. Yeah, she is our... Uh, one of our best, I think. If not our best in terms of men. Yeah, she's gonna have three more than... Uh, uh, Duras, which is... I mean, it's not that much if you think about it in that sense, but it's not bad. Yeah, we just really need to get some more troops, you know? 14 troops right there. Actually, if I remember correctly, that's our second biggest city. Yeah. Nearly 16,000 prosperity, which uh, puts it in firm second place, but uh, still. A good city is a good city, as they say. And I think we may have lost a battle to the Canetians because we seem to be at a lower... Uh, thing against them. I may have to go kick the Canetians in the bollocks. More than likely quite hard, unfortunately. And more caravan guard. Holy shit. I can't catch a break when it comes to mercenaries. All I want is some, uh, what are they called? Um, some either mercenary Sagittarius or mercenary cavalry. Like, that's all I want, you know? I'm not, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm asking for too much. I clearly must be, but I don't think I am. I kind of wish my vassals were better at building armies on their own. Because, I, I, I mean, I'd send my men to go get their armies on their own, but I know they suck at it, so there just ends up always being no point. Uh, we'll go up to these ones as well. Yeah, the Batani... Actually, it's the Batani, not the Canetians. Which is even funnier, because the Batani is... Batani is... Honestly, is way more suckish than we are. Could be because we're in two wars, and maybe that's why the game uh, feels like putting us down. 11 more Imperial Cav Caravan Guard. Good for us. Brennus reached the age of eight. Let's send him to... some. Yeah, send him to the Scholar, and we'll, he'll learn some leadership skills. Good lad. You'll learn how to command armies. Uh, oh god, yep, the Tani, uh... Ah, because they're... Ah, Batania is no more. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You, you have only got castles, dude. So if you want it, I guess that's up to you, but you're not going to be really be that useful to us. Well, the Batani got screwed, didn't they? I even realized my mum was sieging it, so that uh, shows how much attention I was paying to that war, doesn't it, really? Mercenary Novicus, good for us. Could turn those into Sagittarius, to be fair. I probably won't. I will probably just turn them into Cavalry. I know it sounds bad, but honestly, the Cavalry just is vastly better. As they say, winning the cavalry game can win you uh, win you entire wars. All right, looks like we're going all the way back now to uh, like Karen again. And it looks like our guys... Oh, a Sake Horse Lord? Why the fuck is there a Sake Horse Lord here? There's Kalraidi culture, and it's owned by Kalraidi. There should be no reason for there to be a Sake Horse Lord there. 
someone like, oh yeah, shit, I need, I just realized they're donate. Uh, where are they? Imperium Caravan Guard, 20 of them. Well, his army's basically done. Uh, 22 new prisoners, beautiful. Honestly, yeah, cavalry is more important to me. Uh, how many men do my men, like, are these guys? Yeah, these... Just, we're not sitting on anywhere near enough armies. That's the, kind of the problem right now. Right, let's chuck out some stuff. Why do I get the feeling I could probably chuck all this out and it'd still not be enough? May have threw out a little bit extra there, but it's okay. Because we like I said, we don't need the money, so do it throwing this away isn't even a bad thing. But it is better to throw it away and, uh, you know, upgrade our troops with it than, you know, just leave it in here and or sell it because we just don't need the money. Okay, too much again and everything's just one anyway, so just click, 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 click. Okay, there's some, there are some stuff in there that are worth quite a bit, which is obviously... Yeah, okay, that's the last of our troops leveled up. We still have, like, another 68 to go. Jesus Christ. Okay, it looks like we are going to out... Uh, you know, we're going to fuck up the Canetians, which is good. I mean, worst case scenario, I could just walk over there and beat them up for, for the simple fact of just making sure that we end... Uh, like we end them quicker. Worst thing is, I'm not even against that. It's just whether or not it would just, it's just how long would it take, you know? Six more mercenary cav, good. I think mercenary Alaris are cavalry, right? Yeah, they are. And once we hit a full uh, a full army, we'll go play with the. Uh, I'm, I mean, me specifically here, full army. I don't obviously mean all of my vassals, because yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to give them a full army, because you know that'll like it just. I don't. I think I'd have to let them run around on their own, and even then, I'm still not sure I could get a full army out of them. Yeah, we do not want to take any lands from the Canetian. We just want to beat them up and get them gone. If we take land from the Canetians, we're actually separating ourselves a little bit too much from what we own. If anything, I'd probably, I should probably just piece them out and not give a shit, but... Yeah, unfortunately, that's just not how my brain works. I mean, really, Sagittarius Trio are decent, but I just don't think they're needed. Like, I know I'm the one who kind of... I know I've said I want them, but... I just feel like we don't... Because they're such a low tier, they just don't come into the battle unless I put Homogus on. And even then, I feel like it just isn't as good to play with Homogus on. I just, I just feel like it's better to do as we're doing. So you know, it's what it is. Um, a few more men, and then we'll go, uh, go play with the Canetians a little bit, I guess. My first child came of age. Well, that helmet's going in the bin immediately.
Where is my lovely daughter? Okay, so we're gonna go to... We're gonna go back to Zionica. We're gonna quickly just go to every village on the way again. Just to make sure my vassals have enough troops. Because my daughter is going to be starting her journey. I mean, it shouldn't take my daughter long to get to me because, you know, I am walking like a fucking snail. There we go. So we can see what she's got and then we can give her the correct uh, outfit in a minute. I feel like I probably have too much cavalry now, so we're going to focus on the infantry again now. Yeah, 164. We're probably looking at a little too much cavalry. Yeah. All right, to the smithing guild, so my daughter can have the same army uh, armor as me. Honestly, that hel hel I, I, I honestly don't know why anyone likes that helmet. Yeah, she's a cavalry. -er. She's gonna be a cavalry girl. Yeah, she's already got an amazing uh, thing. Don't really have anything to defend my daughter in that in that sense. So let's give her. Yeah, I mean, there's just and it's a knitted spear, you know, leaf headed spear. So there we go. Right. Um. No, fuck it. We are gonna start wearing. I know the emperor emperor's cloak's not as good, but fuck it. We're gonna start wearing it. Just because that's what our daughter's wearing, and I feel like, honestly, yeah, it does look a lot better. Right, so she's got the same armor we have, right? Decorate? No, she has decorated iron. Daughter, daughter, daughter. She has iron scale arm and expensive decorated iron greaves over pants. I mean, that's honestly fine. So the only thing she actually needs a change in is her armor and her helmet. Well, first things first. There's your armor. And second thing, uh... There's your helmet. Cool. She's now done. Do a quick trade. Um. And my daughter, lovely daughter can have that. And she can also have a Testudo standard. Right, let's level her up and then we'll get her shipped out to go do some uh, stuff. Uh, paid in promise. Right, so I level that up. Um, put that up to four, put that up. Sorry, four, five, four, six. 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 There we go. She's now built perfectly for having, uh, for fighting. There we go, Kalia. Off you go. And we will, of course, make sure she does not have any issues. Yeah, as soon as we can, we will, of course, put her in our army. How many men can she have? That's a question I should have probably looked. 100, so she needs to go to 43, and then we can put her in our army. Yeah, 45, see, that works. Right. So like that, we now have our daughter in our leading one of our armies, so... Very proud dad, as, uh, as, I would, as they would say. All right, we've now maxed out our troops, so... I guess let's go play with the Canetians and just end this war. Hurry up and end this war. So, of course, we still need to go to every single village because we still have a boatload of troops we can get. The fact that I'm walking around with 2,600 on my own really screams, like, how powerful we are. Also, I've just realized we, um... Uh, I meant to do that. Here we go. Western Imperium. Um...
don't know why the fuck he's in my there we go we'll do we'll do you guys and we'll see if they'll uh see if we can get any of them to join us because we do need new people in our uh, empire the maduli clan was destroyed i'm hoping that wasn't one of the people i was trying to fucking recruit because that'd suck it's been a Dipshits in an army, so they're probably all in an army, which is gonna suck. There's very high likelihood, like I said, we're not gonna get any of these it's guys. Been... Yeah. They're all in fucking armies. It's been a It looks like all the clans that were associated with um Tandia have now been destroyed. And I'm generous again all of a sudden. Look at me go. I think we could easily have 3,000 troops. Which is concerning. No, 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 no. We're good. Okay, yeah. People are starting to max out us. I mean, we have 2,000 fucking 700. So, yeah. I think... How many more armies can we have? We could have four more. So, yeah. As soon as our kids come of age, we're going to be rocking a 3,000 man army on our own. Like, I don't see there being a lot of issues for us. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to do. No, sorry, no, actually, not, not what I want to do. I want to, yeah, look my, look at that. Fucking 23,500 strength. Um, honestly, 10 out of 10. Just keep you dickhead in prison. Uh, Kalia, look at you go. Frugal. Day mover. Wet shops. Aiden Promise and Sweat Shops. But unfortunately, guys, we're gonna have to end this part here, and in the next part we'll continue on. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share, but most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys then.